Now the Tour de France is a wonderful time because it helps nerds like me stalk, I mean, check out the pros, bikes and the various bits of tech and equipment that they've got, especially for this race. So right now, let's go and have a look at some of the bikes which I think you should keep a close eye out for during this year's big race. Now, Jakob Fuglsang of the Astana team, he's a pretty lucky guy because, well, he's got himself one of these, an Argon 18 Gallium Pro. But it's not just any old Gallium Pro. This one is painted up especially for him. So if you look here on the top tube, we've actually got, well, a picture. Half of it's his face and half of it looks to be a robot of some kind. I'm sure someone out there will be able to tell me exactly what that is, but I'm not that sure myself. Uh, also, on the down tube, even got his own logo on there too, an integrated J and F for, of course, standing for, of course, his initials. And then, well, this paintwork. It's done by a company called Colourburn Studio, who have collaborated with Argon 18 for a number of bikes so far this year for the Team Astana. And I personally, I think this one is my nicest one. Yes, my favourite. Now, if you look as well on the handlebars, where they meet the stem, there's just a little bit of white paint. So basically, that enables the mechanics to know exactly where to refit those handlebars if for any chance they did have to take those bars out for maybe dismantling during travel, that kind of thing. Also, pretty customised and pretty trick, that oversized pulley wheel system down there on the Shimano Dura Ace rear derailleur. Now, Astana themselves aren't actually sponsored by Ceramic Speed, so maybe Fugel saying he's gone out, spent his pocket money to get a little marginal gain so he can maybe save himself a few watts by using that oversized system. All in all, I think this is a really trick bike. I've just been past this bike. This is the brand new Scott Addict, belonging to Adam Yates of the Mitchelton Scott team. And I'll tell you what, this bike is a beauty. Do you know why? Because this colorway has literally just been released. The riders who are riding for Mitchelton Scott in this year's Tour de France are the first batch of riders to get this gray and silver matte edition bike and the yellow really kicks out well from it. So, interestingly as well, I've just found out that Adam rides a size small frame and his identical twin brother, Simon, rides extra small. So there we are, a little bit of trivia for you. I wonder why exactly that is. Now, if you look at the cockpit of this bike, it's not decked out with carbon or a one-piece integrated setup. Instead, it's really traditional aluminum components. What is most striking though about the front end of it is this, the climbing shifter is reversed onto the front of the handlebars as opposed to being thumb operated. So you're going to use your forefinger and maybe your middle finger just to actually be able to change gear. I do like that. It's covered throughout in Shimano Dura Ace 9150 Di2. A little number mount down there and a Shimano Dura Ace power meter on there too. I've just weighed it. Have a guess at home. What do you think it is? Close. 6.8 kilos on the dot. Absolutely beautiful. Let's not forget though, those brand new Pirelli P0 tubular tyres too. First time they've been used in competition at the Tour de France. Now, one of the bikes which you commonly see at the Tour de France, but not that commonly used, is one of these. One of the Mavic Neutral Service bikes. So these are provided by race neutral service sponsor Mavic to any rider who encounters a problem out on the road and can't be helped out by his own team. Uh, so what's so special about it then? Well, for a start, it's a Canyon bicycle underneath this yellow paint and the Mavic stickers, and it's got a full Shimano Altegra 6800 mechanical group set. You've got yourself Mavic Cosmic Carbon wheels too, tubeless tyres from Mavic also, and get this, a dropper post. That's right. So a rider doesn't need to faff around with an Allen key or anything like that to adjust his saddle height. Instead, at the side of the road, they can easily just raise or lower it. As, as they wish. Now they do have different bikes with different pedal types on there as well but most commonly used in the Peloton are the Look pedals as well as the Shimano SPD SL so generally most of the bikes come fitted with those. And finishing kit well for a start we've got a Physique Alianti saddle we've got Physique handlebar tape and get this two NV carbon fibre bottle cages. I think most people at home would be more than happy with this as their bike let alone a neutral service spare bike. 
Now, another bike which you should definitely keep a very close eye out for during this year's Tour de France is this, the brand new Trek Madon disc as used by the Trek Sega Fredo team. So, this is the first time it's officially been used in competition, although we have seen spy shots of riders using it in a few races leading up to the event. But what's so different then? Well, naturally, it's got disc brakes on it, but importantly, gone is the quite over-engineered, perhaps some would say, uh, flaps on the front head tube of the current Madon, so that's the rim brakes. So uh, previously, when you turned the handlebars, those flaps would actually open up as you turn to allow the brake to do its job correctly. Don't need to do that now though, because you've got disc brake hoses. Then the handlebars, well, they are a two-piece affair. So previously, they were a one-piece integrated unit handlebar and stem, but these ones, two separate pieces, so you can run different stems and bar widths and really mix and match to your heart's content, as well as importantly, for some riders out there, actually angling them around a little bit so the drops aren't necessarily parallel to the floor. And then it's fully decked out in a Shimano Dura Ace 9170 group set and using those Bontrager Traeger Aeolus XXX 60mm deep wheels. Keep a close eye out because this isn't the only version you're going to see. I tried to arm wrestle John Degenkolb earlier on, but have you seen the size of his guns? I had no chance. Look out for their pearlescent white ones. They are stunningly beautiful. So there we are, a few bikes which I think you should keep a close eye out this year during the Tour de France, and my personal favourites thrown in there. But let me know which one's your favourite, and also which ones have we missed? Let me know in the comments. And as ever, make sure you like and share this video with your friends too. And don't forget to check out the GCN shop at shop.globalcyclingnetwork.com, where we have a whole heap of goodies for you to check out. And now, for another great tech video, how about clicking just down here?